Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be solving problem 26 on Project Euler which is the reciprocal cycles. So before I left for school today I figured you know what let me just do one of these questions. Um, so school started and I don't know how many tutorials I'll be doing a week or how much time I'll be spending on these problems. Anyway it says a unit fraction contains one in the numerator the decimal representation of the unit fractions with the denominator 2 to 10 are given where 0 0.1 6 in parentheses means 0 0.166 and has a one digit recurrent circle it can be seen that 1 divided by 7 has a six digit recurrent circle find the value of d less than 1000 for which 1 divided by d contains the longest recurrent circle in its decimal fraction part so what we can do is first see how we can uh, get this by using long division. All right. The key, the key here is not to go ahead and build an algorithm that finds the actual decimal representations right for these values because you're going to run into what it's called cyclic numbers, which are always going to repeat and the remainder is never going to become zero. So what I want to do is I want to figure out by using the mod, right? So where we first find that sequence beginning to where it ends we can then take the index where we first find the sequence minus where um, minus the one that we found the last sequence, right? So it's the last sequence minus the first sequence, and that will give us the entire range of the numbers within that sequence. So let's take a look. Um, let's use the values. Uh, let's use one divided by three. So three goes outside, one goes inside. So typically the way that they do this is that they um, put like a dot here and they put zeros at the end, but it doesn't really matter. So we know that one does not divide into three. So what we're going to do is uh, that three doesn't divide into one. So what we're going to do is multiply it by 10. So we end up with the value 10, right? So 10 divided by three is going to give us three. Then three times uh, three is going to give us nine. So we end up with one right then we do the exact same thing again we multiply this by 10 since we have a remainder of 1 and not 0 we go we multiply this by 10 again and we divide uh, 3 10 divides 3 3 and then we get 9 again so obviously you can see that we have a recurrent circle here all right so we can do this one more time we bring down the 1 multiply this by 10 divide that we get 3 3 times 3 we get 9 and we get one again. So you can see that we keep getting this one here. So what we can do is we can use either an array, a string builder, or maps. And my friends always said I have issues with maps because I use maps almost for everything. So, um, so let's say we have a map structure. So with the map, we know we have the key and the value, All right? So what we want to do is that we want to do something that where we can always backtrack and figure out where we started and this is like really uh really easy to use compared to like arrays or a string builder this was the most simplest solution that i came up with all right so we have this the first thing we need to do is have a variable to figure out what the mod is so so mod is going to equal to one the reason why it's going to be one because we need to multiply this by 10 right and we can multiply zero by uh, number zero by 10. This is gonna give us zero back. And then what we need to do is we need to have the index. Here I'm setting the index at one, just because most of the numbers are gonna start at one anyway. Okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna put this inside of the map. Remember this is gonna be the key and the value. So the mod is gonna be the key here. So the mod is gonna be one and the key is going to be the index. I mean, the key is going to be the mod and then the value is going to be the index. So we have one here. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to check to see if the, uh, first thing we do is we check to see if the map contains the index at first, well, it's nothing was in there. So that's going to return um, false, right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually go ahead and put these values in, then we calculate the next mod. So we're going to say that the mod is going to equal the mod times 10 mod the number right so the number here is 3 so we mod 3 and this is going to give us 1 so now we come back here and say well does the map contains the key 
uh, 1, but by this time, the index would have incremented to 2, right? Because this is going to be in a loop, and I'll show you guys when we get into the code. The index is always going to go ahead and increment by 1 because we want to figure out where we are currently at this spot, right? So now we have to check in this map to see if the uh, map contains this key right here of 1. Well, it already does, right? And the index right now is going to be 2, even though we're not going to put this in here. So what we're going to say is that the index, which is 2, minus the map dot get uh, mod. All right. And what it's going to do is that it's going to return the value for a mod here, which is going to be that index that we save, which is going to be 1. So it's going to be 2 minus 1. You're going to get 1. So for uh, 1 over 3, you only get um, 1 recurrent circle. The reason is because that we have 3 and then 3, right? So we first found the first 3 at index 1, then the next 3 at index 2, right? So 2 minus 1 is just going to give us 1. Hopefully this makes sense. Once we once you look at the code, uh, you can just add print line statements in there to figure out um, you know what's going on. But with the maps, it's easier to really figure out what's going on. All right, guys. Let me just put my top of the way, and then I'll be back, and we can just um, code the solution in. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. Oh, by the way, there is an article on Wikipedia about cyclic numbers. So I did a lot of reading on this. Um, you guys should probably do too. Uh, it will make this problem a lot more clear as well. And let me go to where I'm going to solve these problems. And what I want to do here is just create a new uh, class here. And I'm going to control V here. And change this to capital C. So I'm just, I'm just creating a Java class. Close this out. All right. So what I want to do is we want to go ahead and you, by using mod, we should be able to get the uh, uh, cycle. All right. So this is going to be a private static int. And I'll just call this one using uh, mod or modulo. And what it's going to do is take in the uh, denominator that we want to work with. So what we need to do first is make a map. So we say map is going to equal to new hash map. And then we need the key, which is going to be an integer. And then the value is going to be an integer because we're just keeping the remainder and the uh, index location. Then we need to create a variable for the mod. So this is going to be equal to one, right? Next, we need a for loop. Let's say for where index is going to equal to one, right? Um, and the other way we're going to exit is if we find the mod that corresponds to the older, so the first one that we find, so we can exit this for loop. I'm going to say index plus plus. So what I want to do next is going to say that if map dot contains key, and then we're going to pass in uh, mod, right? So if the map contains the key mod, then what we want to do is return the index minus map dot get mod. So we're saying that if the index has the if the map contains the key mod then let's get the value for mod which is going to be the index right and then we subtract it from the current index is where we currently find a number and then that will go ahead and give us the actual range of unique recycle uh cycle numbers okay else right so it, else, what we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and we need to put that inside of the map. So we're going to say map dot put, and then we're going to put the mod and the index, and that's pretty much it. And then
and then what we need to do is we need to calculate the next mod. So we're going to say that the mod is going to equal the mod times 10, right? Mod denominator. And this is going to go ahead and return the next, um, the next mod. And this is pretty much it for this solution. So here, if we're dealing with three, right? Then we first come here and we check. So does the map contains the uh, key mod? Well, it doesn't because so far we haven't put anything in here. So it's empty. So it's going to head and return uh, false. We come down here and we put one into here and the index is going to be one. Then we calculate the next mod. So the, the value is three, we get one times 10, which is 10 mod three, will give us one. Now we go up top, index here becomes two, right? Now we check here, does uh, map contains key mod? Well, it actually does contain one. So we say two, because the current index is two now, minus uh, the value for the index when we go ahead and do mat.getMod is going to give us the value for the key mod. So it's going to be one, right? Then it's going to be two minus one and we should get one for this. And let's go ahead and actually check that out for um, some of the base cases. All right, so let's say using mod and let's pass in three. This should give us one as we saw with the uh, answer on the Quadcom tablet. All right, and if we went back to Euler, we can see that it says that one divided by seven has a uh, six recurrent circle. So we can try seven. So try seven here. And that should give us the value six, okay? All right, so we're not done with this problem. We still have to go ahead and figure out the longest recurring denominator. So what I need to do here is uh, create another fun another method. And when you program in C and then you go, some of these languages need to just keep things simple. Either just leave things to just methods or leave things to just functions, because man. All right, so we have, we're gonna find the uh, longest circle right or recurrent circle just call it circle and just going to take in the limit all right which is going to be 1000 so first we want to do is create a variable to hold the longest it's going to be zero for now then we need something to hold the denominator it's going to be zero as well let's say four there index is equal to the limit and index is greater or equal to two index minus minus <clears throat> I'm gonna say there uh, current uh, longest it's gonna equal to using mod and we're gonna pass in the index uh, next, what we want to do is we want to check for the length. So we're going to say where, uh, my bad, if current longest is greater than the longest, right? Then we want to go ahead and make the longest equals to the current longest. And they want to make the denominator equal to the index. Now we can go ahead and just return the denominator, which is what we want for the answer. Then we can go out here and just take this one out and do SRT again. And we should use the longest circle and pass in 1000. And when we run this, we should get 987 and <laughs> 983. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If you like it, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.